Sometimes you want to make a rainy scene but when you add the rainfall it starts to look awkward. Today I will share with you a really good and easy technique to add it. My name is Nouri Radwan and you are tuned to photomanipulation.com. We are not your typical photoshop channel, we specialize in photo manipulation, digital art and advanced photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out new videos every weekday. Let's roll the video, enjoy. So here we have uh, four images that I'm going to apply the uh, technique on. You will find the links on the description down below. You can get it from uh, Adobe Stock. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the rain first. And it's very important to add the rain first. And I'm going to tell you why while are we working on it. So to add the rain, I'm going to add a new layer, it's empty and you are going to fill it with black color. After that, let's go to filter and let's go to pixelate and let's uh, choose mesotint. In the type menu or in the type option, select coarse dots. When you select them, zoom in and go to select and go to the color range and select a white point after that click ok and then let's zoom out now click on select and mask add a feather and contrast let's try to get less white points that's good now let's click ok now let's hide this layer and let's add a new layer and fill it with white now let's make the uh, dots even more uh, visible by duplicating the layer multiple multiple times and then let's select them all and Control e to merge them let's scale the dots just a bit and let's select the canvas by selecting ctrl a and let's crop it now i'm going to make three different duplication on this dots layer and i'm going to go to the first one and i'm going to head to the filter blur gallery and then let's select bath blur and we are going to make it long and we are going to make some points let's delete that one first and i'm going to add point here to make the rain looks like it's going for different direct direction uh, you will not find a rain that's go in the same direction even it's not a windy day i'm going to increase the speed and yeah Now I'm going to the second layer, the second duplication and I'm going to click on Ctrl T and then with the right mouse button I'm going to flip it on horizontal and then I'm going to blur gallery, bath blur again and I'm going to add a different direction that's looking good And for the last one, I'm going to scale it again. 200, 200 on both height, height and width. And I'm going to crop it. And I'm going to uh, apply the path blur on it. And this time I'm not going to uh, increase the speed. And after hitting OK, I'm going to make it blurry by adding a field blur just like that and I'm going to select the three and merge them together and I'm going to duplicate just to make it more visible and apply a color on them and 
for this scene i use the color lockup on the moonlight so i'm going to add a moonlight color lockup on them and i'm going to decrease the opacity just a little bit so yeah that's looking good but let's duplicate it again to make it more stronger just a bit and i'm going to decrease the opacity yeah this is good now let's go to the point where we add the rainfall so to add the rainfall first select your model click two times on it and go to the bevel and emboss and check it i'm going to reset everything to default yeah so now i'm going to the style option and i'm going to select emboss and then i'm going to select where the uh, rain direction is coming from in my case it's coming from the upper areas from here and i'm going to increase the size and the depth oh let's not increase the depth i'm going to increase the opacity and i'm going to take down the opacity of the shadow mode because we don't need it and use, as you can see the bevel uh, and emboss did the job of adding the uh, uh, areas that the rain is going to hit from this direction so it helps a lot so i'm going to click ok and then i'm going to this fx icon and click on the right mouse button and click on create layers what's that going to do it's going to separate the emboss effects from the uh, model after that i'm going to reset the color uh, curves on our model and i'm going to take the uh, bevel and emboss up click two times on it and make sure to check the transparency shapes layer and then now what i'm going to do i'm going to select our rain I'm going to select the canvas by clicking on Ctrl A and then I'm going to click Ctrl C to copy it to copy this layer which we add the rain on and I'm going to add a new document and I'm going to make it uh, on the same size or let's uh, decrease it just a little bit I'm going to create and I'm going to image and I'm going to decrease it just a bit around these areas and I'm going to make the background black and I'm going to click Ctrl V to uh, paste our uh, uh, rain texture and then I'm going to duplicate it and then move it to add more dots so this is the rainfalls that you are working on right now so I'm going to merge the two layers after uh, duplicating it and I'm going to click on Ctrl A and crop it and then I'm going to duplicate it again and add blur to it around this scale and then I'm going to add brightness and contrast adjustment layer add uh, more brightness and contrast to it after you finish let's uh, click on shift ctrl alt and e to make them all on a separate layer and i'm going to edit and i'm going to click on define pattern and i'm going to name it rainfall now we are done with this one let's go back to our image so back to our image i'm going to select the uh, emboss adjustment layer and i'm going to name it rainfall and i'm going to drag it all the way up and what i'm going to do now i'm going to click two times on it and add the bevel again i want to be more stronger and more visible and again let's this time i'm not going to create layer at this time i'm going to rasterize uh, the rasterize the layer style so it's going to apply the layer style without uh, creating a new layer and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click two times on the rainfall and I'm going to the pattern overlay. Okay, I'm going to the reset to default so to show you how I made it from the uh, beginning. So go to the pattern and select the pattern of the rainfall that we just made and decrease it 
I'm going to zoom in on the image to see more clear. So I'm going to do the uh, this step three times. I'm going to start with a really small dots around uh, five uh, percent scale, and I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to duplicate this layer again, and I'm going to add more blur to it. Yeah, around that, and I'm going to click on it and increase the uh, scale percentage of I'm going to make it uh, 10 and I'm going to click OK and I'm going to duplicate it again add more blur fashion blur yeah and then increase it to around 20 50 between them let's 70 and now I'm going to uh, select the three of them and I'm going to change the blending mode to screen well that's not doing anything because we didn't uh, apply the uh, layer style so I'm going to apply the layer styles by rasterizing them and then we turn them to screen blending mode so this is the way to add the uh, rainfalls you can make them stronger by I'm going to duplicate them all and I'm going to try uh, different uh, layer uh, blender modes like uh, linear dodge and all of this so uh, also you want to add blur to some of them but uh, not, try not to make it too strong here you have the freedom to uh, change all as mu as much as you like uh, you can even merge them all together screen and then duplicate them and make a color dodge or a linear dodge with less opacity and add more blur to it so have, you have the freedom here uh, the most results that you uh, are satisfied with after you finish adding the uh, rainfalls uh, try to apply the uh, color of your scene on them whether you are using the color lockup or even if you ha are uh, using uh, curves or anything just make sure to uh, apply the uh, color of the scene let's take the opacity just a bit uh, you can duplicate the layers if you want uh, if you want it to be more uh, visible, play with the uh, blending modes. Let's say you want this rain looks like it's falling from his body, so I'm just going to paint with a low flow here. click two times and add the uh, pattern and choose an angle where it looks like the rain is falling from his body yeah this one was good let's get it back yeah this one looks good so I'm going to decrease the scale let's make it uh, 15 yeah this looks good and this is looking good and rasterize the layer style and I'm going to make it screen or linear dodge yeah and let's sharpen it just a bit click on sharpen yeah this is better let's make sure it's not too harsh what I'm doing now I'm masking out the area that I want to make it less visible and one more thing I want to show you guys is how to add the uh, drops on his uh, body so I'm going with the, a, a black brush I'm going to just paint like that it's okay if you go out of his uh, uh, of the render just make sure to it can be random just just make sure it's not too flat and then go to 
click two times on it and add a bevel and this time select inner bevel and I'm going to turn this to normal and let's try to change the curves but first I'm going to a point where this the uh, white color starts to appear appears on the uh, black uh, strokes we made and then I'm going to change the curves here till we get a nice uh, drops lock I think this one looks good Rasterize the layer style and, and I'm going to click on Control U and add lightness around uh, 50% to make the black color uh, gray in case you want to make the uh, blender mode uh, overlay or soft light so it won't affect the uh, body and I'm going to decrease the opacity of it and I'm going to apply the same color of the uh, scene on it So this, uh, this is how you add the uh, raindrops to it. I'm going to add more here. So here I want the, uh, the rain to come from this side. So I'm going to click Ctrl V to paste it because we already did copy it from the first image. I'm going to apply the color lock up on them on normal I'm going to merge the color lock up with the rain scene and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to add blur to the uh, to the uh, rain and I'm going to change the blender mode so I want one to be uh, behind him and I'm going to just paint some rain that I want don't want the uh, to be on the uh, model yeah and I'm going to the model and I'm going to add the bevel and the emboss and this time I'm going to change the uh, direction of the rain to be coming from this side yeah I'm going to make it a new layer And I'm going to drag it all the way up, name it Rainfall, and I'm going to check the transparency shapes layer, and I'm going to add another bevel and impose and rasterize the layer style, and I'm going to add our rain uh, pattern, but this time it's coming from this side, so let's try and match the uh, direction. I forgot to uh, blur them before I uh, rasterize the layer style, so I'm going to add blur here. Okay, and let's add blur to this one too. That's good. You can also let's say you want the uh, rainfalls to be on the model uh, from these areas you can just paint with the black uh, color with less uh, flow on his face whether you want the uh, small dots let's say you want it to be uh, on my uh, case on his chest right here on uh, his sorry his weapon just here yeah and I'm going to 
and then I'm going to rasterize the layer style on uh, all of the three layers and then I'm going to change the blender mode to screen and then merge them together and then I'm going to duplicate the layer let's set it to linear dodge and add some blur to it after you're done with that you can duplicate it even more uh, if you want uh, to be stronger and apply our uh, color lock up to it on normal and let's change the blending mode and blur it if you don't like the uh, that's the rain it's coming out of the model you can just select them all and with the control T uh, drag it to the model like that yeah I'm going to duplicate it and add the group and make it less visible so yeah we added this one and let's go to the third one so yeah guys the rest of the video is going to be me uh, doing the same steps again I'm going to give you more tips if you want the rain pile to look more dramatic make sure to add a cloud texture and clip it to the uh, rainfalls layers and change the blender mode to soft light or overlay and also the step of duplicating the uh, rainfall layers and changing the scale of the uh, rain texture depends on your scene if your scene has like soft rain you can make less duplicated uh, layers but if your scene has hard uh, rain like a uh, strong rainy day you can make more than three uh, copies of that layer and more different scales and uh, also one more important note you don't have to use the texture we made of the uh, rain from the noise uh, technique you can always go to adobe stock or uh, google and get you a real image of uh, raindrops or uh, rainfalls and use it as your uh, rainfall uh, texture or pattern uh, for me i just like to make my own uh, elements i don't like using uh, images a lot only if i had to I want to take this moment to thank you guys for the support you showed me on my latest videos. I really really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So if you like the technique that I used to make the rainfall, you can find more useful techniques in my upcoming digital landscape course. Make sure to get it. I will see you guys in the next lessons. Bye.